Hi guys, you're welcome to Web Technologies. We will be talking about how to generate a random password with PHP. In this tutorial, you'll find out how to generate random passwords with a and the PHP function. It's always better to use a randomly generated password rather than your name, birthday, city, etc. Nowadays, most registration forms require you to input a secure password and show you a warning message if the password is too simple. If you're creating a registration system for your PHP project, it should be useful to suggest a password to people who register. Using PHP, it's a pretty easy to generate a random password. Now we're going to be talking about a function that is going to specify what kind of symbols your passwords should contain, what the password length should be, and how many passwords you can generate. The output is going to be in a JSON, uh, format so that you can use it uh, in forms and in other HTML or JavaScript uh, markup. Now I'll be moving straight to bracket IO, which is the text editor for this particular application. I'll be creating a function and I'll be integrating some other functionalities into it. So I want you to sit back, uh, get your palms or get your ends ready so that we'll start coding. I want you to code along. I just don't want you to watch this video. As I'm typing, I will implore you to also type along. Right there, I'll be creating a function. Which will be called random password. It's going to have three parameters. The first is the length. Second will be count, while the third will be characters. That's fine. Now the length is going to be generated password. The count will be the number of passwords to be generated, while the characters will be the type of characters to be used in the password. So that's uh, what the parameters mean. Now I'm going to define variables used within the functions. Let me just comment this out for you to understand what this does. How about I go to create some variables? The first variable will be symbols. Which will be equals to the array. The second will be passwords, while the third will be used symbols. The last but not the least will be password. I will short it with pass. This way. Right there. Now we need to create an array of different character types. Should be. The first one of the, the symbols. Which is the lower case. Which is actually going to be the lower case alphabet. Which will be A C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. 
that's fine I will be creating something similar so I'll just copy this and paste this time it's going to be for the upper case and that's going to be the upper case alphabet Fine. The third will be for numbers. Just a little bit. Let's start from zero. Fine. Fourth, we have special symbols. The special symbols involved will be exclamation. Procedure and sign hash. No, no. I call it breeze. That's fine. And now uh, we're going to get correct types to be used for the password. So let's quickly get that done. We're going to call characters equals, and uh, we call the split function of PHP to actually split the characters with a comma. That's what that is going to do. We need to use a for each loop to build a string with all characters. So we call the for each. We're passing the characters as the key value pairs. That's just in notation. Now we call the use symbols. Passing the value. outside the for each now we get we need to call this string length that's a function in PHP what about we're going to start from 0 so that we're going to get the number of characters by deducting 1 so we call the the symbols length Should be equals to the string length. I would pass in the used symbols by we get minus one. So minus sign or equals. That's fine. Let's do that. After that, we're going to have 
a for loop. Oba is going to be a nested for loop. A outer for loop goes this way. We have the p counter equals to zero. Now we're going to get a count p less than the count. And we have to iterate by one plus plus. That's fine. Inside this uh, loop, we're going to call the password, which was initially a global variable. Now it's right inside the loop. So we have it this way. It's empty at present. Now we call another for loop. This time the counter will be i equals zero. While the length will be i less than the length. L -E -N. That's fine. A counter the order I plus plus. So inside this loop, we first of all get a random character from the string with all characters. What about we call N equals a random function? Start from zero, and we pass in the symbol's length as the parameter, second parameter. That's from zero to what? The length. Symbol's length. Symbol's length. That's fine. Close the array. Now we need to add the characters to the password string. So we call the pass variable. Let's concatenate it to equals the used symbols. Now we'll pass. The counter. Or the variable which uh, does which is the result of the random as a parameter there. Now outside the nested for loop, we're going to call the password passwords array to be equals to the value pass. Just this way should be equals to this. Outside the major for loop, we're going to echo JSON. So we have to do a JSON encode. So that it's actually going to be useful if you're calling in a form or you're using Ajax to call this particular PHP file. Now we're going to pass in passwords. That's fine. So we get our return. Now we need to uh, instantiate the function of what we call my password equals want to make use of the function now we call the random password 
function and we're going to pass in the parameters the first is going to be the length once it a password of 10 length the second is going to be count that's how many password are we creating one the third is going to be the characters we want the passwords to have first is the lowercase second is the uppercase third special symbols Other fourth is going to be numbers. Okay, we just maintain lowercase, uppercase, special symbols, numbers. We need numbers. Just this way. So we have it specified accurately. Or let me let me add the numbers before the special symbols, just to follow how. But that doesn't really matter numbers save the try and we need to now print out we need to print out that my password variable need to print that out or my passwords In the house, just this way. Now, a recap of uh, everything we've done. First of all, we have a function called random length that takes three parameters length, count, and characters. The length is the generated password, while the count is the number of passwords to be generated. The characters, the type of characters to be used in the password. Now, we define the variables used within the function symbols, password, used symbols, which was empty, and the password empty at the global scene we have the array of the different character types we have first the lowercase which is the lowercase alphabet the second the uppercase alphabet the third symbols that's uh, numbers numbers rather the fourth special symbols about we have some symbols like uh, exclamation question mark at ash you know uh, greater than less than and brackets and uh, curly braces after that, uh, we get the character types to be used for the password, which is actually this. What about we use the split function to actually split out the characters? And we run a for loop, a for each loop, uh, which actually build a string with all characters. Uh, what about we get the used symbols to actually build up the string? And we also have the string length that starts from zero so as to get. The number of characters by deducting minus one so we pass that into the symbols length variable now we have a for loop a nested for, for loop in that uh, respect what about we get the random character from the string and uh we also add the character to the password string that's just what we did here well we get a random character called n and we add the character to the password string about we have the pass variable now we return or we encode to json and we echo that out what about we did this this is the instantiation what about we passing uh, the necessary parameters into the random password by calling it and we save that into the by password variable and we have to print that out so that we can actually see that displayed so i will actually be showing this right there in our browser so uh, don't forget to make sure you add your semicolon over here and uh, as well you need to add the dollar sign here to, to denote the variable also in the my password you need to close up with a semicolon just make sure everything looks fine just like this you know if you need to close up our statement with a semicolon you know done appropriately when you when you declare variable you need to close up all with the semicolon the same thing goes when you, you initialize it so with this it should be ready and uh, let's actually test this out in a browser so that we'll be able to know the generated password 
Now I'm using localhost uh, XAMPP, so you can as well uh, install XAMPP too in your operating system. So that is actually going to speed out PHP beautifully for you. So let's call the file localhost. It's actually sitting uh, in the gen passwords password.php can you notice that we have the length of 10 and it's actually created one password what about we have the mixture of uppercase lowercase special symbols and numbers now uh, we can as well generate other forms probably if you want to generate one password using five upper and lowercase characters only let's quickly go back uh, to this particular instantiation uh, we're going to maintain change this 10 to 5 one five passwords length we have the lowercase uppercase and uh, we don't have we don't need the numbers and symbols for this probably we just only want lowercase and uppercase you save this out so a refresh can you see that we only have lowercase and uppercase and it's just five length so if you should refresh this you notice you continue to have different uh, randomly generated passwords so you can't have the same password generated for the same for for different users so it's definitely going to be randomly generated can you notice that it's mixed and uh, it's generated randomly using the random function and also iterating uh, true using the for loop can you see that so let's do something else let's create three passwords what about we'll be using 10 uh password length which just for lowercase characters and numbers let's quickly do that and now we need the length to be 10 and we want to create three different passwords at the time now we're going to uh, maintain the lowercase and let's change the uppercase to numbers now So in a nutshell, we need a password. We need three different passwords with a length of 10 and they should only contain lowercase and numbers. So let me save that. Go back to the browser. A refresh. Can you notice that we have three different passwords and they all contain lowercase alphabet with numbers. A refresh will give us different ones. A refresh. Another refresh, you notice that we're having different generated passwords. Let's do the last one. Let's generate five passwords using 12 length, lowercase, uppercase, numbers, and special symbols. So let's go back to our text editor. I'm going to increase this to 12. We want the length to be 12, and uh, we want it to generate five different passwords now we maintain lowercase we're going to pass the upper case or by we're going to have numbers special symbols so I'm gonna save it right there let's go back now we have it one two three four five five different passwords uh with all uh functionality lowercase uppercase special symbols and numbers let's refresh can you see that can you see that we have different generated ones can you see that can you see that another refresh another refresh and another refresh so thank you very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial and uh, you can see how to actually generate uh, a password you know using PHP randomly you know you don't have them repeated that's just the essence you know that's the main point of generating a random password so thank you once more for hanging out with me throughout the session and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel you no know, just do that for me uh, once you subscribe you continue to have my videos notified uh, to you get uh, to follow the get to follow the 
the web technologies community and you get stick to any of my video that will be uh, forwarded anytime any moment so I implore you to subscribe to my channel and thank you very much again have a blessed time bye bye